Hi, my name is Tracy Hogue, and I love I live in Columbus, Ohio, with my fabulous husband and two feisty teenagers. I've been a registered nurse for a long time, and most of my professional practice has been in hospice care. Currently, I am obtaining my Master of Science in Nursing at Capital University with a concentrate in nursing education. I'll finish in August. My project centered on the holistic care of aging, frail, and dying inmates. I partnered with Franklin Medical Center and a wonderful ministry at First Community Church to create opportunities for volunteers and inmates to interact meaningfully with hopes of promoting healing. The long and short of it is that we created groups, crafts, reading, games. We arranged gatherings, musical events, holiday parties, a memorial service. In the beginning, these efforts gave us a common ground. Amazingly, what happened was that we realized we had a lot more in common than any of us would have imagined. My project has been such a team effort, I'm really embarrassed to be standing up here by myself. <laughs> uh, Sharon Stout Schaefer was my academic mentor from Capitol, and she supported me every step of the way. Jerry Van Skye was my site mentor, and Michelle Silvis, who became a co-mentor of sorts, are the real crusaders here. They work within the prison system, and they exemplify courage and compassion. Lastly, my dear Vicki Murphy was the brains behind the Ministry of Presence at First Community Church, and she constantly works to find avenues for connection and comfort at Franklin Medical Center. I'm privileged to call all of these people my friends. So, a good prison story. Well, <laughs> anyone who's had the misfortune of sitting next to me at a dinner party or perhaps a monthly Schweitzer meeting knows that I've got tons of them. So, I've been privileged to experience many things. To watch a man who could barely use his hands learn how to make a hat for the grandbaby he has never met. Or to have the entire craft group making hats for the community shelter board to give to homeless families. To be part of a holiday party where the men performed the story of Christmas in their wheelchairs written by one of the inmates. To hear a crusty old man speak about the fellowship of sitting vigil beside another inmate as he approaches death and his willingness to walk through the shadow of darkness as he will quote the Bible, even though he is Muslim. To be allowed to spend time with the wife of a dying inmate and tell her about the man I knew her husband to be and how I witnessed the compassion and assistance he gave to other inmates. I did not start out knowing this, but what I believe we have done and are doing at Franklin Medical Center is creating opportunities for the men and sometimes their families to care for themselves, to tend to their spirits and engage in the aspects of life that make life worth living, those things that connect and comfort us all. So one of our groups has been reading A Tree Grows in Brooklyn for almost a year now. If you're only reading aloud for an hour a week, it's a really long book. <laughs> so anyway, the main character is 15 at this point in the story, and she keeps a poem in her purse. As I read it aloud the other week with the men, it, it hung in the air. It speaks to being human, being capable of that which is beautiful, and sometimes that which isn't. So I'd like to close with it here. I am of old and of young, of the foolish as much as the wise, regardless of others, ever regardful of others, maternal as well as paternal, a child as well as a man, stuffed with the stuff that is coarse and stuffed with the stuff that is fine.